Hello fellow Nabooers, this is my Nabu and since I got it I did the FDC and uh, the FDC replica. I'm using a GoTech with HXC2001. I'm using the CPM3 right now. And since I got the hip, I wanted a better display than the composite that the TMS9918 generates. And the only uh, viable option was the F18A. But the problem with the F18A is right now it's very expensive because the components are aging. This Spartan 3 chip used on it has reached its end of life and it costs around $60 just the FPGA chip. And you have all the other components like all SMD high density and assembling one is not easy job. I would not charge cheap so... When you get one on the market, it's 175 US dollars. But uh, today uh, I learned that Arcade Shopper, they made a huge deal with components. They are able to provide the MK1 for 19 US dollars, uh, which is a better deal, but still, still it's kind of expensive. It's more expensive than the Nabu. I paid eighty dollars for it for an entire computer, and it just replaced. And it's not only this Nabu. I have a plenty out of MSX computers that I would like a better display. I would not be expending hundred bucks for each. So we need to get a better option. And the better option that does this, that does HDMI display and it's coming coming it's an old monitor vga display how's that possible right it's the it's not mk2 the mk2 is not ready yet so how could i use an hmi display on nabu well let's play a little so let's put an old good old word star on it just to show you the quality of the just uh, as usual for the floppy to fail on me at least. So wait, CPM3 in 80 columns, that's nice. Wow, let's open a file here. On WordStar. You can see the pixels are perfect. This is HDMI output. It's not, because on VGA, you can see there's still some smudge around some pixels because it's an analog signal that's never the same clock as the expected clock. I can see, for example, here the H, the, the, the H here is kind of smudged, maybe the, the Y and the V, but here, here they are perfectly occupying their space so yeah it's, it's nabu in hmi i'm gonna go, and it's better to kill it let's boot another flop here Let's play a game. My MSX ROM. My game of choice. But it's it's TVI. There is no audio coming through the HMI. It can only output uh, because it would require much more components like an ADC and and so so you see it's working so so how, how how did i do what's happening here so just take a look here They're sitting on the, on the, on the, on top of the of the tms not on tms but where the tms 998 was it's not an f18a it's something else it's something that i Develop it since since Matthew, uh, the creator of the, the F18A, published the FPGA core open source. So I got the source core and I converted it to use a different and cheap 
option which is a tang nano 9k it's sipeed it uses a silicon fpga it's a goings it's chinese uh, fpga and this board costs 15 us dollars 15 can you imagine and you see it comes with hmi uh, port also a usb-c and it has a we're not using but you have a, a sd card and this board has nine nine thousand logic elements it's not much it's not you cannot you cannot put mister on it but you can put the, the f18a and it's doing perfectly uh also you're gonna need the board that i designed it it's just three chips all through the hole so you can build your own on your comfort of your home using a cheap solder iron you just need to solder them it's three ic's uh one deep switch uh you put the capacitor you need three capacitors to for filtering the 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 frequencies and the, those you put on, on you connect because to reduce the, the space i didn't put a, a specific uh pad for it so you, you plug the ground and 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 pcc lines uh yeah and and this will sit and connect over the the, the socket that was before so a bit higher than, than a normal uh f18a or mk1 of course the mk1 is very small but it's cheap uh it, it's for companies you're gonna spend like 15 dollars and more 15 dollars for the board uh, of course, you're going to pay ship for this and that, but if you produce more than one, you're going to get a very, very good price for it. And it works pretty well. You see? And also, you get HDMI as bonus. The F18A or the MK1 doesn't do that. And it's working pretty well. But there's one one compromise, though. The the F18A, it has its toy CPU, which is a TMS 99 100 which you can submit commands and it works directly on vram it's a very niche thing and i don't i didn't see any example using that uh so i have no means to test it but since this uh fpga i could only emulate and um, not emulate i just only synthesize using 50 50 megahertz but the, F, the original fpga uses 100 megahertz this only affects this toys gpu uh it's called gpu on the code and in, in case that it, if you ever run a code that uses the gpu here it's going to run a half speed that's the only difference but the signal it's it's the same speed it's 60 hertz it's it's all perfect and looks very nice on both displays that's it so that's it. Uh, I'll be publishing the code, and the gerbers, everything, so you can build their own. And yeah, that's it. Now we have a an uh, open source initiative, an open source of option for for a TMS nine one one eight displays. All right, thank you for watching. Bye bye.